formatting the text in your document can enhance its appearance and help highlight important information. In this lesson, you learn to apply bold to text, increase the font size of text, and print a document. We want to format some of the text in our memo to make it easier to read, and when we're finished, it'll look like this. Using the mini toolbar, we increased the font size of the memo's title, and we applied bold formatting to these labels. Let's get started. In step one, we'll start by formatting the title of the memo. I'll click in the left margin to select it, and once I do that, the mini toolbar appears. Unlike the ribbon, which contains every formatting command available in Word, the mini toolbar contains just the most popular tools. So in step two, instead of going all the way up to the font group on the ribbon, I'll just click the Increase Font Size button here six times. And with each click, the size of the selected text increases until the font size reads 22 points. Next, I'll click the Bold button to apply this heavier bold formatting. In step three, we'll center the title. And since that command isn't available on the mini toolbar, I'll go up to the paragraph group on the ribbon, I'll click the center button, and the title is now centered between the left and right margins. We also want to apply bold formatting to the memo's label text. So in step four, I'll select the word to, and I'll click the bold button on the mini toolbar. And then I'll continue with from, then date, and finally, regarding. Next, we want to add a thin border between the memo header and the body text. So in step five, I can either click anywhere in this blank line to place the insertion point there, or I can select the line by clicking over here in the left margin. Again, the mini toolbar doesn't contain a command for this, so instead, I'll go up to the paragraph group and I'll click the bottom border button. This single line border is added, and that completes our formatting changes for the memo. In step six, we're ready to print, but first, I'll go up to the quick access toolbar and click the save button. Then, I'll click the file tab, and I'll click print. The print screen here in backstage view displays various print-related options here on the left, if you want, you can choose a different printer and fine-tune a variety of different settings. Over here on the right is a preview of the document as it will look when printed. And before you print a document, it's a good idea to proofread it first. So in step seven, I'll go down here and click the Zoom In button five times. This makes it easier to see if we've made any mistakes in the memo. Everything looks good, so in step eight, I'll go up here, I'll click the print button, and a copy of the memo prints using the default print settings. We're finished working with this memo, so in step nine, I'll click the file tab, and then I'll click close. The document closes, but the Word program window remains open. To try these steps yourself and to see some additional tips, and to see a table that describes all the buttons available on the mini toolbar, turn to page Word 12 in your book.